Hey, what's up, guys? Eric Sim42 here with our RC channel. I just wanted to make a video showing how to make a very compact um, parallel connector for um, with XC60s for battery packs. Say you want to run two in parallel and come out, of course, with one uh, XC60 connector for your to power your quad or your helicopter, or whatever, whatever the case may be. Um, this was a user request, so I decided I'd go ahead and make it. It's really simple. I mean, you need two. For the sake of this video, we're just going to call this a male, since it goes in the other one. Not technically correct. And these two females. We're just going to call them that. So, get them lightly gripped in the vice grip. Um, I've already pre-tinned all around the edges. You're going to have to pre-tin around the inside corners, the insides, especially right here because this is where this connector is going to go in and sit and this is how we're going to solder it on there okay so you got it light, lightly gripped in the vice grips or how, whatever you want to use um, we're going to kind of force it down in there it'll change from this this is kind of like force it down in there so it's a nice tight fit and the vice grips are loose enough to uh, give a little leeway there Just getting my soldering stuff ready. Everything's pretend, like I said. This could be difficult to see. We'll just check it out from the front view here. This is why I wanted the front facing cam, just so I could see what was going on. Um, and then since everything's pretend, let me try to get you a good view where you can actually see something here. I'm just gonna. right in between these two alright so we got that one on I think you can see what happened there we're just soldering them together that's all nothing more nothing less see this side heat it up some That one didn't quite take it, so what we're going to do is just flip it over. We're going to do this side next. All we're really doing is putting these connectors together. It's really simple. Um, you want to run a fairly hot iron though, so you can get them done quick, somewhat quick. It's taking longer than normal. I don't know if my gas is running out or what. Okay. So we got that side on there. And it's difficult to see on this, but you get the idea. Um, all we're really doing is putting these connectors together and soldering and pre tinning around them and. Definitely good. Okay, so we got this side's done, as you can see. Oops. Flipped around there. There's still a little not loose, but woo, that's hot. Alright, so we'll go back to the other side. I'm going to clamp it up a little higher here, just so I can get a good, uh, good tight fit. It's really easy. It's so cheap. I mean, if you got XT60s or whatever laying around, which probably most of us do. Okay, so you can kind of see what's going on here. I'm going to put some heat right there. Well, all I'm doing is soldering these two together. It's really as simple as that. You can see that. Um, I'm going to have a hard time doing the bottom here. 
the way that is in the camera angle there. Uh, let me move it. I want to make sure it's nice and together. Nice and molten together. There we go. That's pretty. Okay. So the bottom. This is going to be tough. I'll try to get it in camera view. Got the top. That's done. The, mm. Alright. So the bottom. Same thing. Just, you know. Got everything pre tanned so it's pretty easy. Gonna heat it up right in between the plates. And solder them on together. I think that's it. Alright, so I'm turning my iron off. Let's double check these. As you can see, that side's soldered together. That side is soldered together as well. It looks pretty solid to me. One thing you want to check um, when you're done is in between, make sure there's no connections because positive and negative is between the top and the bottom there. Um, you want to make sure there's nothing in there because you don't want any um, shorts. You definitely don't want a short. And again, I apologize for the video quality. I just wanted to see what was going on. I could have worn my hat cam, but uh, it seemed a little easier just to use the front facing cam. And it's dark in here, and of course the lighting is not the greatest, but you can see what's going on, you get the idea. So that's done, completely done. This is the compact XT60 parallel connector, in a nutshell. Um, next thing we do, it's, it's very sturdy, extremely sturdy. Next thing we do is take a piece of large heat shrink tubing, which I believe I'm out of. I'll have to get some more from the hardware store, which is where I normally get it. Um, put the heat shrink tubing over it, heat it down, shrink it, and that's it. That's what you saw in my other video. And we just made it. And all it takes is three xc 60s some solder, and a good soldering iron. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you find this one useful for sure. And I'll see you guys around. Subscribe if you haven't, and take care.